How much are you willing to pay for a pair of sneakers? 100 zloty? 200 zloty? How about for a pair of these bad boys? You can get yourself a pair of already dirty Gucci shoes for just about a thousand dollars. Now, why would someone spend that much on already dirty shoes? Better yet, why would someone spend one and a half thousand dollars for this already chipped guitar? The seeming love of damage also extends to art itself. And it's not his fault to kick slow. Should've let your trick hold, chick hold your sick blow. Plus nobody couldn't do nothing once he let the brick go. And you know I know. Rapper and producer duo Mad Villain released Mad Villainy, one of the most critically acclaimed and influential rap albums of all time. But why is the mixing so poor? How can such an acclaimed song be mixed so badly? Is it intentional? I hope to answer all these questions in this talk. As a, as a passionate fan of experimental hip-hop, I've listened to my fair share of gritty instrumentals. And what fascinated me was the spread of these, of these instrumentals from the niche areas of underground hip-hop to the very mainstream music industry. When researching this topic, I found that there are two major causes behind this shift. First, Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi is a, is a movement in Japanese art that seeks to find realism through the active acknowledgement of imperfection in the present world. See, in ancient European art, perfection is what, is, what, what the artist strives for, as we can see in these illustrations. However, Wabi Sabi is very different. In Wabi Sabi, we can see misshapen balls, already broken pottery in which the cracks are highlighted, and asymmetrical flower arrangements called Ikebana. Now, to illustrate a bit more the principles of Wabi Sabi, I want to use the example of Kintsugi. In Kintsugi, the artist, the craftsman, joins broken pieces of pottery with gold, golden powder or lacquer, thus highlighting all the cracks. This sends a powerful message that cracks, damage, and falls are to be highlighted and not hidden. This same symbolism reverberates through the very definition of wabi and sabi. Wabi, a simplicity, minimalist form, and sabi, and sophistication that comes exclusively with age. And you might be asking yourself by now, okay, okay, Japanese art philosophy, very cool, but well, how does this relate to American music? Well, the Japanization of Americans, and American children especially, began just around the 80s, with the NES and other Japanese video game consoles reaching the international market. But it really hit its stride with anime. Anime uses rich storylines and wise characters to take these ideals of Taoism, Confucianism, and most importantly to us, wabi-sabi, and implant them in the brains of Americans and American children. Now this generation is maturing, creating their own art, and we can definitely see the effects of this Japanization that occurred. Okay, so that's one of the reasons, but I mentioned two at the beginning. So, what is the second one? Well, the second one is related to anemoya, a nostalgia for a time that you've never experienced. We don't know exactly what causes it, but it's definitely accentuated in times of strife and uncertainty. And given that we've been at uh, the stoops of various crises for almost 20 years now, uh, it kind of uh, seems re reasonable that people will retreat to the past, whether their own or some other. And this explains why uh, so many people now enjoy thrifted clothes and uh, music written on vinyl records. So what we now begin to see is that this striving for imperfection, including it, highlighting it, will be sourced in two two main reasons. It'll be either a, st a statement about imperfection being an important part of life, or it will be an, a retreat, an emulation of an aesthetic, an attempt to escape to simpler times. So I hope that next time you hear a record that's a bit rough around the edges, you can maybe better understand why it is that way and what message it is sending. Thank you.